Hi everybody and welcome to Homestead Tessie. Today we are going out into the country to the Amish store that I love to go. We probably only go here about four times a year. I needed some ketchup mix and I knew they had it but I did not realize the bargain I was about to find. Let's have some fun and here is the area of which we live in and here is the store. Hubby said to me, is that all you wanted? And I said, well, no, I would love to have more. And he said, well, go get a bunch more. He said, at that price, he said, that'll last you a lifetime. And so I did. The very next day I got to work because we were making ketchup. These tomatoes keep coming in by the bushels. And I thought, well, let's make some of this ketchup using Mrs. Wages. As you've seen in a video from last year, and I'll tag that at the end of this one, I made homemade ketchup from 1942, my grandma Fanny's recipe. This year, I thought I would try some of this ketchup. And it, you know what? It pretty much tasted the same. I actually loved this and for $1.49 and it makes about eight pints, I think it did pretty good because pretty much everything else was free, of course, except for the sugar. I had a few tomatoes that needed to get used up and I really love this mix as well. Now the mixes that I'm using really don't have that many preservatives in it and I love this fresh express and it makes your own salsa just for eating fresh so we're mixing up some of this just for us to eat tonight
As you remember, I got this on an online auction for really cheap, but we need to wash the jars that came with it. Now the jars are brand new, but you can see they're very dusty. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take everything out of this kit and we are going to use it. So we got all of these jars. Oh, this is so much fun. I love vintage items. Now this was probably in the 90s, so it's not really considered vintage, but retro. <laughs> and then we have this. And when we have all kinds of instructions. Now I am using the recipe on the back of the I'm using the recipe on the back of the pectin liquid pectin mix. So I am using that recipe. I'm going to go wash everything up and then we're going to make the cherry jam. I wanted to step back just a moment and show you what a kitchen looks like. I'm sure you all know when you're busy doing multiple things. So we have jam and jelly in the jars, pepper jelly on the stove. The last of my sweet potatoes I have to put in the crock pot because I'm going to freeze it because I have found a neat recipe for sweet potato rolls. That's coming up another day. Tomatoes in containers here that need some I need to do something with them everything is coming in at once it's about a month late but it's coming in from the garden so you can see I have a lot going on and I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and show you cleaning up process and everything like that Okay, I just have to say this. You know I've been raving about the Amish girl and her pepper jelly. It just tastes exactly the same. Exactly 100% the same. Now I don't know if she uses this mix or what, but it is absolutely amazing. Oh my word, this is gonna make the best marinade. It tastes exactly the same as hers. Oh, I'm so happy because we love that stuff and this would save me a lot of money. Now this pepper mix is a little bit hard to find, but I am going to be using this from now on. It's so simple, so easy, and it's absolutely amazing. It has the pectin already with it, so this jelly kit is so nice because you don't have to buy anything extra other than the sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the water canner for about 25 minutes. I can see using this one just about everything and anything. 